the Heresy Group. Tim from the Heresy Group. Also. Um, so, okay, uh, today guys, we just want to do a real quick video. We get a lot of questions. Um, obviously, those of you guys that know me and know Tim, uh, whenever we rock out, uh, we always have a tag launcher to hand. It's a bit of kit we never leave home without. It's something that you've become renowned for having, and uh, normally if someone needs to be here at a long distance, they're like, Richie! Commons are here, bitter. Yes, so um, <clears throat> we do use them a lot, um, obviously for, for reasons, because they are a, a huge, what would you call it, um, force multiplier. They're the biggest game changer since I've been in Airsoft. Absolutely. Me. Like, nothing has been so instrumental in all of Airsoft for me. Yeah. It? It just adds technology another, wise and distance, yeah, and everything. Technology, distance, you know, adding a different dynamic to uh, sometimes a very a linear playing field. So, we get a lot of questions. Tag sounds, where do you start? What do you need? How much are they going to cost? Um, et cetera, et cetera. So, today, guys, we just want sort to of cover that real quickly from my point of view and from Tim's point of view. What, what we say, we think, in our opinion, is a good place to start. Yeah. Um, so, first just, of all, just for all the squeamish people, yeah, this is definitely not cheap. So if you're offended yes. by zeros, yeah, please you, you go and watch something else. Yes, for, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's well, not cheap. Yeah, swap channels over to bargain bargain hunters right now. <laughs> um, yeah, like Tim says, it's a very very good point, well made. Like you know, you don't think you can go out and get a tank set up for sort of 50, 60 pounds. Um, you know, add a zero on top of that, you may be somewhere near. Yeah. So. First of all, the launchers themselves, uh, what type, um, what style uh, are you going to use? It's really down, come down to preference, I guess. Yeah, it depends what you want to do. Um, I know that if any of you are sort of GMR fans, yeah. it's the first place that I actually saw tags being used properly, like, you know, as yeah. a force multiplier. They use the um, underslung uh, 203. 203, yeah. But they take a lot of modification. Sure. You have to shave the tubes because they don't extend out enough. There's a whole video on it, yeah. but um, that's that's kind of one that's popular. I've seen guys running the scar one as well. The scar on the slow to yeah, 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 definitely. Um, obviously, I wanted something uh, personally that I didn't have to attach to a weapon. It could be a standalone platform. Um, you know, obviously, I run in fours, I run scars, I run various platforms. Uh, sometimes, you know, a support weapon. So, so you can't always. Um, rely on the weapon system to be able to uh, hold the tank launcher itself. Um, so I use um, the styled around the 320. Um, again, like Tim said, the 203 is compatible with the tubes, but you do need to some modifications to make yeah. them work. Um, so this for me was perfect because, you know, it's side loading, you know, loads of access, you haven't got to try and fight to get the tube in there, slot straight in, closes up, uh, again, it's a standalone system. Um, so this, I believe, is ANT. Yeah, I'm going to say ANT. I think the retail was around about the two hundred pound mark, I believe. Yeah. Um, I bought this second hand um, from uh, some absolute idiot who didn't really want to get rid of it, who immediately regrets the decision. Ha! <laughs> we should name no names. But um, yeah, so this was second hand. Um, I can't actually remember what paper second hand, but yeah. I know. So let's let's look at brand new retail prices. Around about two hundred pound mark. Yeah. Um, so this is my personal preference. I know Tim has just picked his one up. Yeah, so I've gone for the uh, M79, also known as a pirate gun. Arr, arr. Uh, there is two versions of this. There's the M79 long uh, and the M79 uh, sawn off, which is what this is called. This is by King's Arms. And, and you know, the, the essentially the full variant of this is like this big and it's got a full stock yeah, handle. Full stock, yeah. um, but they, they do this, also known as the Buccaneer or the Pirate Gun. Uh, absolutely love this thing. It sounds really different. You do see these run out by a few of the city <coughs> teams, um, and that was kind of the inspiration for this. If you look these up online, you look on the Google images, there's a few of these out in real steel land. Sprayed up as well. Sprayed up, and they're kind of in with a load of seal kit. Yeah. And um, there's a photo of a scar all sprayed up in one of these. Yes. And I was like, yeah. yes. Lovely. So uh, into it again, really quick and easy to access. Like, I didn't want anything too complicated. You just slide the, the lever over the top, and then uh, it falls open. Really loaded. Yeah. yeah, once you've got your tube in, obviously this will allow for the full length of tube as well. You don't have to cut anything else, anything down, and you slam that down. And it's it's uh, nice because it's compact as well. That that's one of the other things. If you, like, if you look at size comparisons, they're pretty about yeah. Without the stock, they're, yeah. They're, you know they're they're invariably you know very very compact. They're easy to throw into a backpack, and that's yeah. one of the key things. Like, I want a force multiplier. But I want a force multiplier that isn't. 
you know, carrying around so much yeah. sack on. But it's just, so, for instance, you know, you're not going to have to use this in a specific role. So, you know, some guys are support gunners, some guys are assault, breaches, medics, etc. You yeah. know, for this, you'd be a grenadier, maybe. Um, but, like I said, because it's so short, you don't have to stick to that. That just goes in a backpack. Yeah. On some sort of weapons catch or something. So for me, that's a, it's a really snug little platform, and obviously from being able to you know reach out to someone under yeah. 150, 200 meters, yeah. um, with one of these and something so so compact is awesome. Also small, lightweight. Um, I think this is a little bit heavier than yes. than than, um, than that Richie's set up, but uh, it is something very different. Again, you know Richie's been using tags since I think they first sort of were kicking around. Yeah. And um, I've seen how much of an impact they have, so it was, was desperate to jump yeah. on, the, on the bandwagon as well. And, and again, obviously, coming back to the launches themselves, um, obviously, I've slimmed this down quite a lot. So this would come with um, a bolt on the flip-up iron sight. Uh, if you might guys go on Google Images, you may see it. It's a very long, um, quite a big chunk on the top here for the iron sight, flips up front and rear. Um, you normally have a great big uh, butt stock, which slides into the... Uh, into the launch itself, claps down, it still claps down quite short, but it makes it quite bulky. So just for carrying purposes, like Tim said, in a backpack, etc., I've stood this right down. Um, you know, this will go into my Kylex holster that I've got. And you put, you know, other than the weight itself on your person, you know, it's very slim, you don't really notice it there. Um, price of these, these are super expensive. Uh, they are on a few UK based retailers at the moment for about 290 quid. Um, so they are super expensive. They're also pretty rare to get hold of if you want to try and get them outside of those retailers. Um, I know that they're at those retailers because they haven't sold. So um, they are a little bit difficult to get hold of. Just as a kind of caveat before you go off on your spending spree, yeah. make sure that your <clears throat> launcher is compatible with tags because yeah. Some of them have gas, I think it's a TM, has gas stored in the, um, yes. in the handle and the firing pin mechanism won't work with, with tags. So yeah. just make sure that your, you know, whatever platform you're gonna choose um, is compatible. Yeah, absolutely. Like Tim says, you know, lots of guys are asking questions. Will the TM one work with uh, tank shells? Uh, no, they will not. So like he says, the, the, the gas is, is held within the weapon itself, whereas obviously the tanks, the gas is all in the, uh, basically in the shell itself. Um, so yeah, you want a system that ha just has a firing pin mechanism, just in the back there, just slides forward, yeah. climbs the shell, and let's see if it better on your one. The same as, same as on here, so just in there guys, um, as you pull the, the trigger, you just see that pin shoot forward, and that is what's going to uh, essentially start the process of launching the tag. Uh, yeah, so onto the shells, uh, like Tim said, the pin comes forward, will hit your uh, valve there, like any sort of like a gas pistol mag or a gas uh, rifle mag. Same thing, we'll push that in, that will then uh, release your, your valve system pushing forward here. Uh, fill valve in the back, um, this is the V1 shell. Um, I've had these for a number of years now, like, like Tim said, yeah. uh, ever since they first come out, so they're doing pretty well. Quite robust, uh, plastic rifled uh, barrel on here which also helps with the accuracy yeah. of those. Um, and you, you really feel that rifling. Uh, so as you're putting one of the rounds here, so I've just got one of the 4.5 second uh, timed rounds, you can see there's rifling around the outside of this and literally as you force it into the shell, you feel it slide into those rifling grooves. Uh, obviously getting a spin on this in the air is gonna give you better uh, accuracy and also better trajectory yeah. as well. Now, just a disclaimer guys, so the V1 shell, <clears throat> when I first bought it, I run it on green gas. Uh, was getting very, very poor performance, uh, very low ranges, shells not priming, not actually going off. Um, I then switched to red gas, had better success. Still, you're looking at about a 30% failure rate, you know, so that the, 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 the um, grain itself, uh, the, the explosive would leave this tube, would fire, maybe, you know, a correct distance or maybe just short, but it wouldn't prime, it wouldn't actually go off. Um, and again, you know, you don't recommend going and picking these things back up. No because you don't know how far in the priming process that grenade is. Um, so yeah, disclaimer, I now run these on CO2. These are, the version ones are not designed for CO2. However, <laughs> I have uh, reinforced the O-rings in here. I've put slightly bigger section, strong, uh, different material O-rings. Um, I got from an external source, not from TAG. It's my own doing, so if it all goes wrong, it's my fault. <laughs> um, 
However, so these are in the region of 69 pounds, I think. Yeah. So, you see, around about 60 to 69 pounds. There's a few different variants on these tubes as well now. You've got your kind of bog standard tube like this. Uh, then you've got your Pro Shell, yeah. which is one of the newer ones. And now you've got the adjustment shell as well, which will adjust essentially the amount of power or the amount of gas that's vented through uh, into the tube. So uh, that's something that's coming out soon. I don't think they're kicking about on the market yet, no. but the Pro Shells, I think, are about £90, £80, £90. Yeah. So they're a little bit of a step up. Um, they're reinforced in a few ways. They're machined slightly differently. So um, that's something to consider if you yeah. are looking at buying mm -hmm. this kind of set up independently um, one of the filling systems that Richie was talking about for the CO2 it's called the fist system this is it here uh, it's just got a cap on the end this runs on 12 gram CO2 bulbs uh, stick your bulb in tighten this up um, and then essentially this nozzle at the end injects in and that will release gas into the shell so these retail I think about 60 pounds Depends where you're shopping and currency yeah. conversion, that sort of thing. But again, not cheap. Uh, if you're looking at you know this, a shell and the gun, you're already in the sort of four or five hundred pound territory. Yeah. Um, and that's before you've gone out and bought the rounds. So yeah. just be aware, guys, again, this is uh, this is not a cheap journey. I absolutely recommend these fist systems. I've seen yeah. a lot of guys use these on a variety of different gases, had varying success. All the guys I've seen using these uh, on CO2, the 67 lads, yeah. um, you know, when we were uh, we were up in with CAG, can't remember now. Um, at Otterburn, they were they were using one of these systems, one of the early variants of it, and they saw a lot of success. And there's some cold temperatures up there as well, so really do vouch for the, yeah, the this system. <clears throat> um, again, with the CO two, uh, one thing I would recommend is obviously you know uh, lubrication of all your seals, etc. You know, just a little bit of silicon oil. You know, after every game, uh, just will extend the life of these. You know, tenfold. Um, yeah, like Tim said, CO since moved to CO two, um, had some awesome results. Like yeah, some epic shots <laughs> to the point where I've before I got used to the distance of the CO two, you know, um, I would end up clearing you know the roof of a building rather than hitting the building. It would go over the top and just gone. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, definitely worth the investment into CO two is worth it. Just takes a bit of time to get used to it. So um, we've covered the costs, covered this. So the actual um, rounds themselves, uh, what you're going to be using. Um, for me personally, we'll just run through some of the stuff that I've been using through the years, um, that I find is most useful for what, what we do yeah. in our little suits, etc. So this is the uh, Reaper. This is a four and a half second delay. Um, they also do a three and a half second. Yeah, they do three and a half. Also. Yeah, so I think initially they, they only did it in a four and a half second variant, but now they've got three and a half, four and a half. Um, these are awesome bits of kit, specifically if you want to overshoot a target, overshoot a bit of hard cover, just get that little distance, just a little bit further past, and then it'll go off. Yeah. Um, again, uh, for a box of 10 of just these rounds, round about 68, 69 pounds. Yeah. Some around there, that mark again, very long. And you pay more in delivery for those, don't you? Because of don't they have to be specially delivered because of the whole pyrotechnic thing? Yes, I think I think you do get an elevated postage oh, right okay. because they are, are technically a they're, 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 they're pyrotechnic. Um, so and just be aware, guys, you can't put these in with an order of your BBs or whatever. Yeah. Without obviously that elevated cost, so it's yeah. something to consider as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, so these are great. Uh, the other ones I use are the white ones. Uh, these are the Archangels. Um, these are impact. Uh, so these are ideally for sort of fibula, obula, CQB situations. Um, again, primed the same from the rear, but obviously it will need to hit a hard surface for it to, to detonate. Um, but again, similar design, you know, you have that nice sort of rifling, you know, molded into the shell uh, that will obviously help with accuracy and, you know, uh, minimize flutter on, on the flight path. Um, Again, I've had no real problems with these running on CO2 either. So that's a, that's a good one. Um, as we were talking, sorry, I was just going back to these. So you can buy these in a pack of 10, or I know they, they do the starter packs. So obviously if you're just starting out, you yeah. get one yeah. of them. And is it, is, it is it 10 rounds? I think it's eight. Is it eight rounds, yeah. I think it's eight and one of those. Yeah, so you get eight, eight rounds and one full tube, uh, tube launching system. So, it's, I mean, if you're looking for a setup for the base, it can be something that's 
worth looking into. The only consideration that I would say is that if you are looking for the pro shell, they don't do the pro shell on a starter kit. Yeah. So you're only going to get the basic version of the shell, which to be honest is fine. Richie's used them for a long period of time. Look after them. Um, again, you know, look after the seals and stuff. They will be fine. But yeah. um, if you are after the adjustable power one or the pro shell, then they don't do that in the starter kit. So something to be aware of. Obviously, you're getting uh, eight rounds in the starter rather than 10 in a full pack. So, you know, you can, you can divvy that up on cost. If you're going to do this all as one hit, you yeah. know, gun, fist, and a full starter kit is probably the best way to do it in my yeah, opinion. definitely. Like I say, you know, there, there are options you can either get a starter kit or, like, like Tim says, break it down, you know, the pro shell and perhaps a box of 10. Um, but one thing that, you know, me and Tim have invested in and we, we think will be invaluable, um, these are the pepper rounds. So basically these are known as a dummy round. So there's no explosive, no pyrotechnic, pyrotechnics in this. Um, although same design, same material. Yeah. Um, the reason behind this, this is just for target practice. So, and trust me guys, when uh, the amount of money and wasted, uh, you know, grenades I've used, putting a round in and being just off target, you know, high by six, six foot or three foot, left, right, you know, um, just to get those differences right. Yeah. So these will really help, these kind of pack of 10. Again, I think they're a bit cheaper, around about the 55 pound mark. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend getting these for yeah, just for that, just for that practice, getting that accuracy right. I mean, I've been with Richie and he's put what four or five rounds out. Yeah. Um, when you're looking at probably after postage, different what about seven eight pound a round, yeah. maybe a little bit, maybe yeah. a bit more. But if you're looking at eight pound a round, that's thirty two quid. If, you, yeah. know, you can do very quickly. Easy. You know, if yeah. you've got the shells loaded, you're boom. Yeah. Grab another shell, boom. It, you know, because you, you want to get that kill. Because yeah. you want to get it, you know, or you're yeah. taking out attack or something like that. So these can be used against vehicles in certain um, events, but uh, you know, something to consider that you know they are Definitely. not cheap. So if you practice with these over a weekend, you get your distances dialed in, and you're using CO two. Obviously, you haven't got then the fluctuation that you get from some gases. Yeah, just something to consider. We've got them so that we can you know do a lot of practicing and make sure that our shots are on point. Absolutely. So. So you know, so that's that's pretty much some of the rounds that I have been using and are using currently. Um, obviously, Tim's going to be the same, and obviously he's just got his up and running. But yeah, so there's a lot to think about. It's not just you know go out and buy uh, a tank starter kit and then a two hundred three. People think this is you know it's 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 just a starter kit and you go. There's a lot more moving parts into it, and yes, yeah. it, I think people are very um, you know. Mis misled by how much this will actually cost. Yeah, um, and so then it's having it on you, carrying it, then you've got to carry everything with you. So you know some of the things I've been looking at is a okay, case. So I've got now this to carry, and it's not just this. I've got to have a tube on me. I've got yeah. to have multiple tag rounds. I need to have this. I need to have CO two capsules, um, and I also need to carry the rounds themselves. Mm. No, they're not huge, but they uh, definitely take up enough room. If you're carrying five, six, yeah. seven, maybe ten of them, if you're carrying a few variations. You know, it's a backpack's worth of stuff. So just something to consider as well is that this isn't like, you know, strapping a new optic on your weapon. There's yeah. a lot more to consider um, with the rest of the moving parts of it, especially if you're out on the ground for extended periods, yeah, exactly. as we've been, you know, it's a backpack's worth of stuff. So. Yeah, so just to summarize guys, um, cost-wise, so this is this is what you'll need. Um, these are the breakdowns of the cost. So launchers, between two to 300 pounds. Yeah. Um, the filling system, another 70 pounds. Um, you're then looking at, if you just have the one tube, let's say take the Pro Shelf instance, yeah. uh, 90 pounds. Yeah, 80, 90 pounds, 80, 90 pounds. Like thereabouts. I mean, again, the prices are fluctuating because a lot of it, what for the prices that we've seen, uh, have been through dollars and euros. So, you know, there's a bit of fluctuation around there, but you're looking at, say, about the 80, 90 pound one. Yeah, and then obviously, you know, uh, for a single box of 10 uh, of these, another 55 pounds. And then depending whether you wanted um, timed or impact, you look at another seventy odd pound for those. Yeah. So yeah, guys, w w when we say you're looking at sort of between six to seven hundred pounds, yeah, it's, it's not it's not a silly figure to be thrown about. No, it's it's easy to get there. What I would also recommend is looking at ordering in bulk rather than ordering one box at a time, which yeah. is going to cost you on postage. You know, if you can get two boxes or three boxes at a time and last yourself out for a little while, it's probably a better way to do it, especially yeah. with some of the postage regulations that you're going to have. You're going to pay for. Uh, DPD or you know uh, yeah. FedEx or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. So you just get shipping combined, buy in bulk, try and get the cost down, yeah. and hopefully it'll, you know that will make the 
the uh, the less than price note zero is over a little less yeah, painful. Less painful. Um, so there we go, guys. Like I said, it was just a real quick video, just to try and break down because we get a lot of questions about this ten grams, what we use, how much it costs to you know start out in this in this area. Um, so hopefully it's informative. Hopefully you'll, you'll put it to good use. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Yeah, questions, comments, anything like that, anything you do want to know about tag rounds, um, we will get some links to pricing and all that sort of thing. We'll put it in the description below. But um, yeah, comments, feedback, anything like that. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe. You can do that by clicking in the bottom right hand corner of the video or go back to the home page and click subscribe. If you do click subscribe, there's a little bell icon next to it. It'll just mean that you'll get notified of new videos and also when we go live, which we do a lot on the YouTube platform. Yeah. Awesome, perfect. Right guys, thanks for watching.